Welcome to Heart and Fitness. Today we're going to share with you the most important abdominal recruitment exercise known to mankind. And we're going to give you three reasons why it's so important. Don't do another repetition of another exercise until you watch this video. Stop it. Don't do it. Okay, moving on. All right, this is the number one abdominal requirement. Before we can move on to any other exercise, we have to have this down. Now, next week, we're doing a level one abdominal workout, workout with Lance. And I want you to practice what you're going to learn today and make sure you've got this down before you engage in that workout. We touched on this a little bit in our what is corrective exercise with the squat talking about charging the belly or creating intra-abdominal pressure. But today we're really going to show you how to do it and break it down like you're a five-year-old. I meant that in a good way. So really there are five basic movement patterns. The push, the pull, the squat, the twist, and the lunge. And this movement that we're showing you today, it governs them all. It precedes every one of them, and it is the king of all movements. So what we have to understand is that every exercise is an abdominal exercise, and every repetition has to have a proper abdominal setup. So three reasons why it's very important to get this down. Number one, it protects your back. Number two, it properly creates energy from the inside out as opposed from the outside in or the arms and legs in. It starts in the abdomen and works its way out of your appendages or legs and arms. And number three, it keeps the abdomen functioning properly and it keeps it toned. Keeps it looking good and toned. You'll be using this before any repetition. The thing I want to remind you of is this is used in daily life as well. If I reach down and pick up my keys, I'm going to activate it to a very small degree. But if I reach down and pick up a kettlebell like this or a big bag of groceries, I'm going to really have to activate it to make sure that the shear force doesn't hit my back or my joints. I'm going to disperse it through my abdomen and my intra-abdominal pressure and that's really going to help me save the day. This has been one of the most neglected functions that I've seen of the human body amongst the clients that I've worked with. But today, we're going to make sure this isn't the case with you. You're going to get it down. You're going to be ready for next week's ab class. So let's get into it. Take a look. The first thing I want you to notice, we don't have the posture stick. So by laying on our back in supine position, we're going to use the floor as our posture stick. Now, the reason posture is so important here is because we cannot charge the abdomen if our posture is poor. Uh, the better the posture, the better the charge that we get of the abdomen. Using the floor as our posture stick is going to keep the back very straight, and we still want to keep that little bit of lordosis in our back. We don't want a flat back on the floor. I want you to watch my abdomen, and you will notice that I'm going to take in a big belly breath right there. All I've done is I've taken air in and I've filled up my abdomen. Next, I'm gonna take that air, I'm not gonna release it, and then I'm gonna pull in and up against the air. I've taken my transverse abdominus. Now we built this in our previous video for postpartum transverse abdominus building where we worked on the two extremes, but now what we're doing is we're taking the strength that we've built and we're pulling the transverse abdominus in against the air. We're not letting the air go here. We've also created a little bit of a lift, kind of an expansion of the rib cage, which tells me when I see it that we're doing this correctly. That compressed air in there has created what I call a charged abdomen. It's created air that is compressed, and we're doing what I call loading our abdominal chamber. And this is going to help us disperse the weight and protect our back to get us through the sticking point of a repetition for an exercise or a repetition in daily life. Now this draw in against the air is proportionate to the load that we're lifting. So if we're lifting a very heavy object such as a large bag of groceries or a heavy kettlebell or uh, we're deadlifting a barbell with a lot of weight, we, we're going to want to pull in more so and create more charge in the abdomen. If I'm lifting something very light, like a set of keys, we'll only have to lift and draw in just slightly. Now by lifting up that sternum, it is going to lengthen out the chamber and allow more air to be charged in there and charged correctly. Okay, let's take another look at it. 
We're going to take that air. We're going to fill it up. This all becomes one motion as you get really good. Now the air is in the chamber. Now we're going to load the chamber by creating compression, intra-abdominal compression. And now that air is compressed in the chamber and it wants to go somewhere and it's ready to help you out. And this is where we're going to use this compressed air to get us through the sticking point of whatever repetition it is that we're doing. All right, let's work on this this week. So when we do our ab video next week, you'll feel it working and you'll understand why and how it works. Keep in mind, we're building a foundation with these exercises. So stick with it, practice it, stay strong, go and encourage someone, go take a walk and have some fun.